This video is brought to you by Udemy. So recently I've been using ChatGPT a lot. I've used it to help me come up with new video ideas. I've used it to help me troubleshoot errors in my code and even started to use it as a tool to learn AWS, which quite frankly has been a complete game changer. In today's video, I'll be walking you through some of the best ways you can use ChatGPT to learn AWS Cloud. I used to think that all you had to do was type in how to learn cloud or teach me AWS, but honestly, ChatGPT is a lot more powerful than you think. So make sure you watch until the end of this video because I'm going to be sharing with you some prompts you can copy and paste directly into ChatGPT to learn AWS much faster. If you're new here, my name is Lucy. I'm an ex AWS solutions architect, and I've been learning and using AWS cloud for the past two and a half years. So make sure you subscribe to the channel because I make these types of tech videos every single week. Okay, so here's what we're going to be covering in today's video. First, we'll use ChatGPT to help us design a custom study roadmap. Then we're going to ask ChatGPT to act as a tutor and help us with any problems we face along the way. And as a bonus, I'll be showing you how to use ChatGPT to build AWS cloud projects. Because as I've said on this channel over and over again, the best way to learn AWS is by getting hands-on and actually building a project. Let's begin. Open up ChatGPT and let's just start by typing in hello. The first thing we want to do is ask ChatGPT to create a study plan for us. And this is the exact prompt to type in. Act as my career coach and ask me five questions to understand my study goals. Once I tell you my goals in the next message, provide me a study roadmap for learning AWS. I'd encourage you to properly answer these five questions, but for this video, I'm just going to tell ChatGPT that I'm someone looking to land a job in the cloud and want to get AWS certified. Okay, so here's what ChatGPT is suggesting to me, but of course, based on your own responses, the roadmap you get might be different. They want me to start off with the AWS Cloud Practitioner exam and then choose a specialization, learn the relevant services, and then you know do some hands-on exercises. However, despite ChatGPT being really good at giving you advice on what to do, it does have a few limitations. Firstly, ChatGPT is not always accurate. A common saying for this is ChatGPT sometimes hallucinates facts and figures that may not be true. For example, thinking that a kilo of water is heavier than a kilo of air, even though both weigh exactly a kilo. Secondly, ChatGPT's cutoff period for its knowledge is September 2021. This means that if an AWS certification exam was updated or new products were released, ChatGPT would not be able to tell you that. And so with those limitations, even though ChatGPT is a great learning tool, it won't be able to teach you everything. Which is why I want to show you how you can use ChatGPT alongside video courses in order to learn from some of the best instructors out there and also just make sure everything you're learning is up to date. If we take a look at the first step of this study plan, ChatGPT recommends beginning with the AWS Certified Cloud Practitioner exam. And that's exactly how I started my cloud learning journey. As you can see here, I bought this Udemy course taught by Stavan Marek back in August 2020 to help me study for the Cloud Practitioner exam. I really liked Stefan's course because of how well he was able to explain cloud concepts. There was around 15 hours of video content in this course and it taught me everything I needed to know to pass the exam. I also ended up buying his Solutions Arctic Associate course, his Developer Associate course and also his SysOps course. In fact, Udemy courses have played a huge role in helping me learn AWS, which is why I'm so glad they're also today's video sponsor. If you aren't familiar with Udemy, they're an online learning platform with over 200,000 courses and 57 million students. They've pretty much become one of the go-to places for learning AWS Cloud, and they have some of the best instructors out there. If you're interested in checking out Udemy, I'll put links in the video description to a list of my top recommended AWS Cloud courses. They offer huge discounts from time to time, so make sure you take a look at the links below to see if there's a course that might be interesting for you. Now, when I was learning AWS Cloud, one of the biggest challenges I faced was struggling to understand how AWS services fit in together. Like sure, I could watch a video to understand what EC2 is and watch another one to understand RDS, but I wanted to know how these services actually link together and help businesses solve real life problems. This is where you could ask ChatGPT to act as your tutor and explain any questions you may have. But even better, what if you could ask ChatGPT to act as a solutions architect or a cloud engineer? So here I'm going to type in act as a solutions architect and give me a real life scenario where EC2 connecting to RDS will be useful. 
Well, you can see here that it's already starting to provide an example of where EC2 and RDS can be used together to host a web application. So an EC2 instance will be used to run the application and RDS will be used as the database backend. And you can see that the answer is quite detailed, where they even consider a scenario where an application needs to perform some complex queries that require a lot of processing power or memory. You could also ask follow-up questions like, when would you choose RDS over another database option, such as DynamoDB? And then you can see that ChatGPT provides some specific scenarios where RDS is a better choice compared to DynamoDB. I think what's really great about asking ChatGPT these questions is that it really helps what you learn through video courses come to life. And it also encourages you to be more curious, which as a result helps new information stay in your brain for longer. Of course, don't forget that ChatGPT can also be used for simple questions as well, like what is AWS Lambda or explain autoscaling to me. But in general, it's better to ask more specific questions so that ChatGPT can generate stronger responses. Another challenge I faced was pulling out my hair every time I got stuck on a hands-on tutorial. A lot of these video courses will come with hands-on labs where they encourage you to follow along. But the problem for me was sometimes I would make small errors and the whole tutorial just would stop working. For example, if I forgot to rename something on an Amazon S3 bucket policy, I would get an error. Instead of digging through documentation and trying to troubleshoot and figure out what's wrong, I can simply put this code into ChatGPT to see if I could identify a potential solution. Okay, let's put this S3 bucket policy into ChatGPT and let it know that an error came up. And straight away, ChatGPT was able to tell what the error was. You can see here that your bucket name was not replaced by the name of the actual bucket, which caused the error. So yes, instead of having to read through long pages of documentation, try using ChatGPT when you run into errors with hands-on tutorials. Now, speaking of hands-on experience, I want to show you something very important, which is how you can use ChatGPT to build AWS cloud projects. Cloud projects are not only important from a learning perspective, but they can also be helpful for your career. When applying to companies, hiring managers and recruiters want to see that you have actual hands-on experience, even if it's just through a personal project. Here are three ways you can use ChatGPT to build AWS cloud projects. The first one is by using ChatGPT to come up with a project idea. I have a video on my channel called the best AWS projects for beginners, but in the comments, a lot of people wanted to know what other projects they can build. This is where ChatGPT comes in and here are the exact prompts I'd recommend. What are the best beginner level AWS projects I can build that will take less than two hours? You can see the first one, static website hosting, uh, second one, serverless function. These two actually were two of my recommended ones in that video. Uh, but you can see that they provided a few more suggestions and a little summary on what to build. But the thing is, if you're already familiar with, let's say, IAM and EC2, you might want to ask ChatGPT to provide you projects on specific services that you actually want to improve in. So you can ask a follow-up like, you know, what about projects focused on, uh, let's say, Lambda and Amplify. And then it suggests a few that are focused on those two services. So by asking these types of questions, you'll be able to get ChatGPT to suggest projects that are not only beginner friendly, but also tailored towards the skills and services you want to improve on. Another prompt you could enter is, after building the project, how should I add it on my resume. I get asked this question a lot and I usually just recommend adding a project section to your resume and then briefly explain what you built. But you can see here that ChatGPT wants you to add all of this information onto your resume. This could be useful for your portfolio instead of your resume. But for your resume, I recommend just writing one or two lines describing what you built. And to get that one sentence, you could ask, Give me a sentence to put on my resume after completing a static website application project. And straight away, ChatGPT knows what you're asking for and you know they give you an entire sentence that not only talks about what you built, but also the services you used and what skills you were able to develop. 
The second way to use ChatGPT to build AWS Cloud projects is by asking it to give you an exact step-by-step -step tutorial on what to build. So once you've decided on a project to build, here's what you can enter. Provide me with detailed step-by-step -step instructions on how to build this AWS project. And then you can type in the project you'd like to build. So hosting a static WordPress website on Amazon EC2. And there you go. It pretty much provides you with each step from start to finish. However, what I've noticed is that even though we're asking ChatGPT to provide detailed steps, sometimes it just doesn't provide enough guidance. In that case, just make sure you always ask follow-up questions. So you can see on this step, it says connect to the EC2 instance via SSH. But let's say you don't know how to do that. So you can ask, how exactly do I do this? And you can see that it provides you with further details. I've actually built an AWS project recently with the help of ChatGPT, and I'll put a link to it if you'd like to check it out. The final way to use ChatGPT for building AWS projects is by asking it to troubleshoot and identify errors. If you've been learning cloud and writing code, you've probably come across Visual Studio Code. Instead of just copy and pasting code into ChatGPT, you can actually download a ChatGPT extension into Visual Studio Code to make changes directly in the code editor. And this is great if you want to have all your work in one place without having to switch between different tabs. Anyways, that's all the time we have for today. I tried to make the video as concise as possible, so please give this video a like if you found it helpful. And if you've been already using ChatGPT to learn new things, I'd love for you to share your thoughts in the comments below. All right, bye for now.